What's going on, everybody? Victor here. Um, I'm actually on my way to the gym. Start my Saturday. Gym doesn't open up till eight. Actually, the one I initially go to, or that I go to um, during the week, is closed on the weekend. So I go to a different gym one on Saturday. Sundays I have off. Um, so I'm on my way to the gym, get my workout in, start my day. Um, I just started another company. So if you don't know, I have one company. I have a dog training company. Um, and you know it's a pretty successful dog training company but I just started another one so after my gym session I might go take the car to go get a car wash um, and then after that we do some work but I opened up an ATM company so um, I opened up an ATM company where you know I purchase ATMs I put I find small business lo locations that I can place that ATM and make passive income by people going out taking money there's a surcharge i get the surcharge fee so there's a process um but I, I actually just started that company and i started it i think on valentine's day we started working on it um the day before valentine's so the 13th which is my wife's birthday so she was out working and grinding on her birthday because that's what we do you want to be successful you don't you don't take days off holidays is no such thing you, you have holidays once you um you make it to where you want to be and you know you don't have to worry about anything else so she was grinding on her birthday we was grinding on things our um valentine's day we were in and out of banks trying to find a bank account because you need to have a bank account for an atm business and there's a lot of banks that don't open that won't open up a bank account um a, a, a business bank account uh for an atm company because you know money laundering and, and and all this crazy stuff that goes on with, with cash so they a lot of things shy away from it so that was a process trying to find a bank. We went into like probably, I went into probably like 15 different banks and no, 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 no. Um, so we finally got one, but that's part of the grind. That's part of the, you know, that's part of the hustle um, that's needed in order to be successful. So um, yeah, yesterday we worked on it a little bit more. We we're actually trying to find a location to put our first ATM. We got one ATM. Um, we're trying to we're trying to find a location for that. And uh, once we find that one, you know, I hit up my resources, hit up the people that I, you know, that I, um, that are helping me, my mentor, um, and you know, the resources that we have to, you know, get the get the ATM delivered and set up and all that good stuff. Um, put that ATM in there and start making money. So that's how it works. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on on what's going on, a little bit about me, and I'll talk to y'all later. All right, I lied, folks. Um, I stopped. Okay, I had to stop. Um, cause the gym doesn't open up till about five more minutes, and I decided to just get gas real quick before it opened up. So I'm here at the gas station. If you on post, if you go on base, if you have a military ID, if you get on base, gas is always cheaper on base um, than it is outside. So that's just a quick tip. But I gotta turn this camera off because you shouldn't be on your phone while you're pumping gas. Y'all know that. All right. So I just got to the gym. Got my handy dandy headphones on. About to get to the grinding. I'll talk to y'all later. Just leave it. You might not be able to hear me too well. But it was a pretty good workout. Cool thing while I was in there, I noticed they had a. Well, I always kind of knew they had it, but since I started doing this ATM stuff, you know, now you look at things a little bit different from a different perspective. And I noticed they had like a snack bar. So right now the snack bar is closed, but I talked to the person in the front desk of the, the actual gym and I asked if they could give me the number to the manager that, um, that works there. So they gave me the number to uh, the actual. Um, snack desk or whatever um, so I'm gonna give them a call see if we could probably work something where we could put an ATM right next to there because they don't have one there and it's pretty high traffic going to not that gym people buying protein shakes and bars and things like that but yeah that's it um now I'm on my way let's see what we're gonna do now what time is it it's about almost nine o'clock so I'm gonna go probably take this bad boy to get the or this bad girl this is sexy Lexi take her to get a car wash and then from there probably hit up some spots to hit up some barber shops see if we get this ATM place so y'all stick around pretty cool journey okay um, so I didn't get a car wash as I was driving to go get a car wash, I noticed a few locations that could be potential spots for an ATM. So I walked in there. Um, one of them was a laundry mat, and they did like, if you know, it, in the military, you wear like these dress blues, and you wear this nice uniform with pins and stuff on it. 
So in this laundromat, they specialize in obviously cleaning and, and stuff like that, but they also place and do those things for military personnel. That way they don't have to you know, worry about the lineup um, and worry about the, how, the, how the pins are supposed to be because there's regulations and stuff. That's a whole other topic, but um, that's what they did and that's what they do. So I walked into there and talked to the lady. She um, is very, very interested. The problem with that spot, it's really, really small. Like they, they, don't, have, they don't have a lot of space um, in her in her location so that might be a problem because there's different rules and regulations where you're placing the ATM that, that need to be met um, in order to be properly placed without being fined or anything like that so um, that may be something that we can do um, that's still up in the air I'm gonna talk to the husband um, and talk to my mentor and, and see if that's a spot that we can do something and um, and then another spot which is like it looks really really good it's a hair salon um, right next to it and um, the lady was really really interested she was like almost like dead set to do it so we scheduled an appointment for uh, Monday where we will meet up and um, and um, go over the paperwork and, and the contract and hopefully that goes through and then after that you know we'll be good we'll be good that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop looking that doesn't mean that I'm just gonna stop doing what I'm doing because that that's not a hundred percent sure yet right Monday can swing by and we go over paperwork she's like oh, no I don't, I'm not interested anymore you know so those are all things you want to consider um, when doing this stuff so yeah now I'm on my way to a barber shop that I used to go to and I'm pretty cool with the owner there so I'm gonna chop it up with him for a little bit see if that's something he may be interested in doing um, and yeah we'll see what happens I'll talk to you guys again As you see there um, I just pulled up and when I pulled up I seen this big flashing sign that said open and then next to that sign or under that sign it said ATM here or ATM inside so obviously now I'm not gonna walk up in there and try to talk and talk them into getting an ATM because they already have one so I'm not gonna waste my time um, time is valuable and I got things I got to do I got my son got a basketball game at um, in a few hours and we got to go to that I, I'm a coach so I'm his coach so I gotta go do that. So um, right now, I'm probably gonna go hit up one more spot. I think I have time to hit up one more spot. And then after that, get, head home, get ready for the game. And then after the game, back to it. You know, we're back We're back into the grind, going to stop into the, talking to people and, and meeting new people and you know, trying to get this first ATM place because that's the goal right now. I hope y'all, this is entertaining for y'all. Um, but you're seeing it, it's pretty cool. You're seeing the process, how, how the, how, how the hustle works, how the grind works. If you want to do something, you go do it. You can't let people tell you no. You can't let people, I mean, they can tell you no, but that doesn't mean it's going to stop you. You know, every rejection you get, you have to look at it as one step closer to a yes. All right. And, and that's important. If you don't have that mindset, you will fail in anything, anything you do, because, you know, rejection is part of the process. Rejection is, is, is important. Um, that's how it builds. rejection builds character. Rejection builds resiliency, okay? So every no that I get, I'm a little bit more excited because I know I'm closer to that first yes in this in this business. And this is, it was the same thing in my other business. Um, and I still get said no to a lot in my other business, but that's part of it. You know, it doesn't beat me up. I don't feel bad. I'm just like, okay, you know, uh, we just continue rolling. We continue rolling. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to the other barber shop real quick because I have time. And this is actually my barber. Um, I think he opens up at 10. I'm not sure what time he opens up. Um, my barber works there, but the owner, I'm cool with the owner. So I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to talk to them, talk to him, and, and see what's, what's going on. I already kind of told him I had some stuff I wanted to talk to him about, some business stuff I wanted to talk to him about. So he, he kind of has an idea, but he doesn't know what it's about. So we'll see. We will see. Um, but, yeah, I'm almost there. Um, and I'm gonna talk to y'all later and let y'all know what he says and how that conversation goes. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I got a verbal yes from my barber, my own, the owner of the barbershop that I go to. Set up an appointment to do the contract and the paperwork, get everything going, set up that first ATM, feel good. It feels good. So that's part of it, that's, that's cool. That's, that's the first step. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get another one and another one and another one. And this thing gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to share that news with you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm trying to know that. But I'm on my way back home. Go, go spend some time with the family. Go to the basketball game. And um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what all I'm gonna do for today when it comes to this. I'm gonna go celebrate with the wife and the kids and, and do some stuff. So enjoy. I hope you guys, you know what, like the video. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later.